There's a good DC film. A DC Universe movie. We did it. Woo! None of this Suicide Squad, Batman and Superman. Man, it still was okay. This is actually fucking good. Wonder Woman, guys. Wonder Woman. This stars Gal Gadot as Diana Prince, as Wonder Woman, Chris Pine, as Steve Trevor. A lot of side characters, a lot of little shit that doesn't matter. This movie was fucking lit! I don't know why I said lit, I really regret saying lit, but anyway, this movie was good. Okay, let me start with the, okay, this is the origin story of Diana Prince, this is the origin story of Wonder Woman, a character that doesn't get much, doesn't get much, you know, I wouldn't say exposure. You've, we've had multiple Batmans, we've had multiple Supermans, we've had a Green Lantern solo film just plonked in there. We've had a Flash series and an Arrow series. We've had everything. We've never really seen a live action Wonder Woman. We've had a little bit in the 80s. Yes, I, I know, Linda Carter, I represent, we, I see you, but we haven't seen a lot of this character, we really haven't, like, people of the newish we've seen, you know, like, from like the 90s, we've seen like three Batmans, and you know, there's a lot of stuff we, we've been waiting for, and this was the movie that I was least excited for, that sounds a really bad thing. When it comes to DC, I'm a huge DC guy, but she probably was my least favourite superhero going in, she was nothing really, I was like, okay, she's alright. I didn't really dislike, I really disliked her in the Injustice game, so it made me not really want to see her, and I went into this movie and I was like, I've actually heard good things, and I was blown away, I mean, Gal Gadot was perfect, people were complaining about her accent, and about her, you know, she's a model, and breast size, and dumb shit, she nailed it, she brought a really compassionate side to this character, and she also kicked some fucking ass. I mean, her and Chris Pine, Chris Pine was fantastic in this movie, uh, he played Steve Trevor, the chemistry between those two was fantastic. This movie really hit all the marks I wanted it to hit. It was a great origin story. Usually origin stories are hit or miss. You can have an average origin story and then have really good sequels. Batman Begins springs to mind. That was, a, it's a good movie, but not fantastic. Dark Knight was fantastic. Yeah, we've had good origin stories and we've had bad sequels. This one, we haven't had a great origin story. Man of Steel was decent. Batman Superman, I liked it, but I can see it has some things wrong with it. Suicide Squad was fucking flawed as shit. I enjoyed it, but it was so flawed. The more I watched that movie, the more I dislike it, honestly. Um, which I just bought it, so, you know. But this movie was just perfect. It really made me like the character Wonder Woman. I mean, like, Diana. I really liked the... Everything they did in the origin story, actually showing her growing up as a child and what's it like in Nemascara. And I, I probably fucking botched that pronouncing of pronunciation of a, of, a, of a planet. But it's a really cool story. I won't really get into what happens because it's a fantastic movie. I don't want to say anything about it. It's just the, it's just the origin of Wonder Woman and how she comes to be early in her life. It's the like nineteen. It's early nineteen hundreds. I don't know if it's forties, twenties. I'm not going to attempt. It's one of the world wars, uh, and it's just oh, I, I was gushing out this movie. I came home and I was like to my dad, who's a huge DC fan. I'm like, see it. This movie is fantastic. The one thing they didn't get right was the villain. And I say that, and you guys go, but who's the villain? I'm not going to say it's Ares. We know it's Ares, but they're just trying to figure out who Ares actually is, and X and Y, and blah, blah, blah. And that was the that was the low point. It would show her, and her showing her this kind of coming into what it's like in the real world. You see her in the real world. It's funny. You've got some great scenes in there where she's trying to learn how to be a real person outside this Amazonian island and how to engage with other people, and it's fun, and then there's some cool scenes, and it's really enjoyable, you actually feel for these characters, and things that happen for them, and then they go to the classic DC, big boss fight at the end, and that, I mean, it's better than other boss fights, but it isn't necessary, it just, it falls back into it, and the villain was where it kind of fell off a little bit, but saying that I love that movie, that was the only way I could improve it, is giving it a slightly better villain, and you'd understand why once, I once you see the movie, or if you've seen the movie already, uh, this one was early, this is late May, very, very late May. But I gushed about this movie, literally the only thing I could talk bad about it is the villain, and even then, he was average, he just needed to be great, to be a fantastic, great film, because I feel like a villain is very, you know, defines how good a movie is. But this movie was fantastic, it gives me hope for the DC Universe, it gives me hope looking forward to other movies, it gives me hope for Justice League at the end of the year, Gives me hope for Flash, Batman, you know, all the shit in the future. And, you know, there is a sequel. I'm pretty sure there is a sequel. I'm really excited for it because this movie, again, it was probably the least excited I've been going into a DC film, but I came out the happiest I've ever been about a DC film. Definitely check it out. I'm going to give it a B plus. 
Again, guys, if you don't know my rating system, I go A, then B plus, then B, B minus, C plus C, C minus, D plus D. I don't go lower than D unless there's a rebound review, which I've seen multiple times. And I don't give an A minus because I feel like an A is just an objective thing. A. There's an A, you get an A plus if I said it more than one time. Uh, after one viewing, I'm not gonna give any movie an A plus. But I tell you what, this is a good fucking movie. Check it out, guys. Wonder Woman is the way to go. DC, you've done something good. Continue, please. Continue. Thanks, guys, for watching. You guys can let me know what you thought of the movie below. You can like it, give a thumbs up, and you can, of course, subscribe. But mainly, have a good one.